Hello everyone. So let's start with the coding part. These are the steps which we need to follow for creating the retry listener. So step one says that first create a custom class that will implement the iRetry analyzer interface. So inside the package that is com.listener, I will add one more class called custom retry listener. This class will implement the iRetry analyzer interface. So when you implement this interface, you need to override the retry method. So as you can see here, the return type of this method is boolean. That means this method will return either true or false. So if you want to invoke a fail test method, make sure that this method returns true, otherwise false. So for the retry logic, these are the steps which I'm going to use. I will create two variables. The first will represent the current count of the retry. And the second variable which will represent the upper limit of re uh, retry count. So max retry count. And as you can see here, we have the variable of type i test result. So using this variable, I will get the status of test method, whether it is passed or fail. And based on the condition, whether the retry count is less than or equal to max retry count, I will return true, otherwise false. So here, I will put my retry logic, that is if. So let me make it result. So result dot get status and I'm going to compare it with I test result dot failure. So here I'm making sure that the test status should be failure and also current retry count should be less than. So let me create two private variable private int retry count equal to one and private final int max retry count which will represent the upper limit so i'm making sure that there is an upper limit for the retry which is i mean which is which has been initialized to five so that means this is going to retry maximum five times so retry count is less than equal to max retry count and after that i will just put a sleep so thread dot sleep let's say for three seconds print the required information method name and retry count So this will be result dot get method get method and comma retry count. After that I will increase the retry count by one. Retry plus plus and make sure that this method returns true. So 
So when this listener will be invoked, it will check whether the current status of the test method is failure or not. And also it will check for the retry count, whether the current count is less than the upper limit of retry count. And if the condition is true, it is going to wait for three seconds, print the required information, increase the value of retry count by one and then return the true. That means we want to invoke the failed test method again. So this is the logic of our retry listener. Now after that, we need to use the listener along with our test method. So here inside this package that is com.testcase, I will add a test class. So test retry listener. Inside this, I will add a public test method. So public void test retry. So as I told you, the first approach of using the listener is to specify along with the test annotation. So here I will use assert dot r equal test ng1 test ng2 and at the rate test annotation. So let me run this particular test method with, without the retry listener. So just do a right click run as test ng test. So as you can see here, this method runs only one. Okay. Now let me use the listener along with this. So this will be retry. So this is the attribute. If you look here, there is attribute called retry analyzer. And here I'm going to specify the class which has implemented the re I retry analyzer interface. So this is the class. And now again, I'm going to run this method. So run as test ng. So as you can see here, it is using the retry listener and the method is getting invoked multiple times. So when the method called fail for the first time, it wait for the three second. It wait for the three second and Again, it did work for the second time, wait for the three second and so on. So as you can see here, the maximum number of time the failed method executed is the five time. And this is because of our retry listener. Okay. So as you can see here. So in this manner, you can use the retry listener along with your failed test method.